The topic of today's talk is recording software demonstrations with Kaltura Capture. Kaltura Capture is a new tool for us at NIU. Um, it is a institutionally supported Blackboard integrated tool for recording software demonstrations. Kaltura itself is actually a suite of tools. So uh, you'll see in a couple of places that we get to in Kaltura inside of Blackboard today, there are other things that you can do with Kaltura. Right now, we're not really covering all those options. We're going to cover specifically how to use one of the features, Kaltura Capture, to record software demonstrations. Um, in other words, recording screen activity. All right, so <clears throat> let's talk about um, what uh, uh, these are the things that we will talk about, what Kaltura Capture is, why you would use it, what you need to be able to use it, and how you would use it. And how you'd use it will show you, uh, I'll do a little screen demo and show you um, how you can use Kaltura Capture to do this. We'll take some questions, and I'll point you to some resources. All right, so what is Kaltura Capture? Essentially, it allows you to record webcam, scream activity, and audio. So if you've ever used a tool like Screencastify or Screencast-O-Matic or um, Camtasia, uh, those are all examples of tools that do this sort of screen uh, activity recording. So again, you can record your webcam if you like, you can record just the screen if you like, you can record um, screen and audio, webcam and audio, you have lots of options. Um, and I'll demonstrate how that works. Uh, Oops, sorry about that. Um, okay, so uh, it's integrated with Blackboard. Uh, it allows sharing both within Blackboard and outside of Blackboard. Um, the recordings are auto captioned, so you don't have to worry about captions. Um, and there is an option to download the raw recordings. All right. Um, I saw a question from Ronaldo. Uh, where can Kaltura Capture be downloaded from? We actually download it as part of the process. So as I mentioned, it's integrated into Blackboard. So one of the first steps that you go through to enter or to create a Kaltura Capture recording uh, will be to download that little application to your computer. Why would you use it? I think many of you have a sense of why, and that's why you want it to be here. Um, the uh, uh, One of the primary uses for this would be a software demonstration, demonstrating Excel, a data analysis tool, a coding interface, showing someone around a website uh, or a document, um, document review. So sort of narrating over a PDF, narrating over a Word document, over a PowerPoint show. If you wanted a quick and easy way to capture some webcam video, that's one of the things you could use Kaltura Cal Capture to do. As I mentioned, you could have any of those three options, screen activity, webcam activity, and or audio. Any of those three you could have in, in combination. Um, students also have access to this process and this tool. So if there's a reason that students in your course may need to create um, a screen activity recording, perhaps as part of an assignment, you actually could leverage Kaltura Capture for that. We've got, a, I'll mention now, we've got a couple of resources on the Keep Teaching website that I'll point you to at the end of this session. One of them is using Kaltura Capture from a faculty perspective, and one of them is using it from a student perspective. And the student perspective is, is, um, is clear enough, I think, that you could probably include those instructions or a link to those instructions in your course, and students would be able to make it work. All right. What do you need to use Kaltura Capture? So you need access to Blackboard. So currently, Kaltura Capture works specifically from Blackboard. Uh, and that's where it is integrated. Um, you need a microphone if you plan to capture audio. Now, that could be the microphone in your laptop. It could be a headset. It could be a pair of earbuds that has a microphone built into it. But if you want to capture audio, of course, you need some sort of microphone. The webcam itself is optional. So you don't need to capture the webcam video um, for a Kaltura Capture recording. If, for example, you just wanted to capture and narrate uh, an analysis in SPSS or in Excel, you might not need a webcam for that. So as many of you know, uh, many laptops include a webcam. You can have a separate webcam. And of course, 
uh, it's not necessary for uh, for a capture or capture. All right, so I'll pause here for a second to see if anyone has any questions before I go into the demonstration portion. No? Okay. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing the presentation and start sharing my screen. Oh, I heard a couple things. Go ahead, Anna, with your question. And while you're typing, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Do you mean at the top of the Collaborate window or the top of the Kaltura Capture panel? Pop back over so I can see that. The Collaborate window. So, um, oh, <laughs> ruining anything for anyone else. I've seen a couple of times where someone has um, annotated on the screen a bit with the collaborate um, annotation tool. Is that what you're referring to, Anna? Yeah, okay. So if someone is using the annotation tool to sort of draw on the screen, um, that's visible for everyone. <laughs> right, okay, so um, you're sharing, I'm sharing my uh, screen with you, so I'm gonna go through, there are a couple of options. Um, I'm going to show you how to access Kaltura Capture, and then I'm going to give you a, um, a view of how you could embed that content in a, your Blackboard course. I know some of you likely use the Blackboard original style courses, and some of you use Ultra. So uh, each one of those is slightly different. Um, and there are a couple of options for each. And remember, I have step-by-step -step instructions, so you don't need necessarily need to take detailed notes on those instructions because I'll have those for you. All right, so let me go here to courses, and I'm gonna bring up my sandbox courses. And first, I'm gonna start um, in original. Now, before I go into a course, the way you actually access Kaltura Capture uh, as a tool is not inside of your course. It is in this tools panel here. So before I go into a course, I click this tools option and I can find the Kaltura My Media section here. So Kaltura is integrated into Blackboard as an LTI. This is the My Media section. The first time you use the My Media section, it will of course be empty. I've got content in here because I have done other recordings um, in My Media. I'm gonna click this add new button and you can see um, the options that are available to me in, uh, in Kaltura Capture or in Kaltura integrated into Blackboard. The one we're talking about today is this one, Kaltura Capture. So if I want to add a new screen recording, I find my way to the My Media section, click this Add New button, and choose Kaltura Capture. Now, Ronaldo had a question before about where do I download Kaltura Capture for, and this is the spot. So the very first time you make your way here to begin uh, recording, a screen recording, uh, you'll get this option or this invitation to download and install Kaltura Capture. You see, I already have it installed, and that's why it's asking me if my computer is asking me if I want to go ahead and open that. If, if I hadn't in downloaded and installed it yet, I would choose which of these options works for me, the, the Windows download or the Mac download, and I would download and install that tool. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and click Open Kaltura Capture. This is the um, Kaltura Capture uh, sort of uh, settings panel. Um, this panel allows me to change um, the camera recording quality, the screen recording quality. I get to choose whether the Kaltura Capture panel records system audio or not. What that means is if I'm capturing um, something on the screen that generates sound, like a YouTube video, for example, or maybe a simulation that has sound effects. If I mark this yes, then, it, then the capture panel will actually capture that audio in the recording. If I don't want that, then I would, of course, click no. I believe that in the screen recording quality is set automatically to 1080p. But especially for things that are highly detailed, like maybe an Excel spreadsheet, I would I would recommend that you set the screen recording quality to the highest setting, so that uh, no fuzziness gets in the way of students being able to see what you're showing them. 
Once you're happy with the settings on this screen, you can click this new recording button. This is the Kaltura Capture recording panel. This is where I can configure whether I want to record or not record the screen, which screen I want to record, whether or not I want to use the camera. You see I've got the camera shut off. In fact, because I'm using my camera in the um, Collaborate session, the uh, camera is not actually not available. And you can see that my audio microphone, as I speak, you can see that it's detecting my audio. When I'm ready, I can choose the monitor I want to capture. I'm capturing, happen to be capturing this, uh, the monitor here that I'm displaying to you. I can choose this select area to select less than the whole screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to bring up my Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to minimize it a bit. I'm going to put it over here in the corner. And I'm going to line this up. with my Excel spreadsheet. Now I've defined the area that I will be recording. So when, I'm, when I begin recording, it will record only the screen activity in this area. Um, and Renaldo's asking if you can only select a window, you can select the whole screen if you like. So uh, selecting a window, actually you have to do that on purpose. So I'm gonna click confirm that this is the size. Uh, and, this, and the area that I want. Now I'm going to bring this panel out of the recording area because I actually don't want that captured in, um, in my recording. If you leave this in, it will be captured in the recording. Um, another option uh, besides moving it out of the record area is to just minimize the panel after you click record. All right, so, but if you have enough room, um, you can uh, uh, move that out over the way, out of the way. And then when I'm ready, I click record. You get a countdown and you re begin recording. If you are using um, microphone audio uh, to narrate over the top of this, you um, begin with the screen activity that you want to use. So if, if I'm maybe showing someone how to filter in this table, um, that's uh, one way to demonstrate that. Kaltura is now capturing anything I do in this window, in this red window here, and uh, anything that I'm saying. When I'm done, I click the, you can't see my panel, but I'm going to click the stop recording panel. And it's going to give me this back. So it's taken me back now that I have an active recording in here. I've recorded 38 seconds, and uh, I'm going to title it. better spell it right, and click Save and Upload. You'll get a little cheer that will tell you the status of your upload. It takes just a minute or so. Usually jumps from 10% to 100% pretty quickly. There it goes. When it's all done and you're not doing any more captures, you can put the Kaltura Capture Panel away. I'm going to go back to the uh, Kaltura My Media section, and we'll see the recording I just created. I'm going to refresh because it was only a few seconds between uh, when the recording was uploaded and me coming back to this page. So um, I clicked this little refresh icon here, and now I see it's processing. So it's not quite ready to play yet, but you can see it here. Once you get it into your My Media section, you're able to begin to do what you want with it. You don't necessarily have to wait um, uh, for it to be done processing to, for example, let it uh, put it into a course. All right, so I've shown you how to get the recording started, um, how to use that little panel, and where the video goes. This is a great place to, to uh, pause and ask if there are questions. Uh, Jason, we do have a question. So um, one question that we have is, can you only select one window at a time? So the, that's a good question. So um, 
I guess it depends on why you would want to select more than one window. There is actually an option in the panel to record two screens at the same time. Um, I'll give you a sense of, I'll show you a video in a little bit that shows you that there's kind of a picture in picture view or a side by side view that you can do. If for example, you are recording, let me see if I can find you an example here. Um, uh, let's see. I don't think I have an example here of that, but um, the if you, let me get the uh, capture, capture panel open again. I'm gonna click new recording. You can actually configure um, this to be another screen. So you can actually capture two screens at one time, and that will give you the potential for having a side-by-side uh, or a picture-in-picture -picture kind of style. I don't necessarily have a great example of when you would do that, um, but uh, but that is certainly possible. Did that answer the question? Okay. All right. So I'm going to go back into the to the my media section just to to remind us one more time sort of where we're at. Um, so now I have it. You can see now my video is done processing. So it's got this short little video, um, the Excel filtering demonstration. Um, I'm going to leave the the uh, sound on silent. It does take a little bit for the captioning to pick up, but it will close caption this video, and there'll be a little captioning icon here that you can turn on to see the closed captioning. Um, uh, now the question is likely, how do I get this into my course? So the nice thing about doing using this capture tool is that the recording is automatically uploaded into your My Media section of your Kaltura application in your tools panel. So it's already really sort of in Blackboard for you. Now you just need to get it into your course. So the workflow is just a bit different for Ultra and for Original. So let's take a look at each of those workflows. So I'm going to go ahead and get into my course here. And I'm going to go to course modules. I've got a module here. There are basically two options. One is to insert a link and one is to insert a sort of a thumbnail, a playable thumbnail embed. So the language is a little tricky here because if I go to build content, Kaltura embed is one of the options. What this really means is insert a link to my video. Uh, this is probably the most um, flexible way to use Kaltura Embed. It's the one that gives students the most control over how they want to watch the video. So it's the one I'd recommend, particularly if you're doing something quickly uh, and you want students to have a pretty simple um, experience. And so build content, Kaltura Embed. It will simply display your My Media section and every video that you have will have this little blue embed button. When you're ready, when you found the right video, you click embed. And it drops a link in your module for you. So this link will link directly to your video. I'm just going to click it, show you what I mean. This is exactly what students will see. And here they have the video. All right. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back into module one. I do want to mention that if you insert it this way, it's going to take the title and append the time to the title uh, as the default title of this item in Blackboard. You can edit this item and change the title information if you like. All right. So that's sort of method number one for inserting a Kaltura screen recording into a Blackboard original course. Method number two is creating a playable thumbnail. Okay. So I'm going to create an item, but this could just as easily be an assignment, a discussion post, a um, even a test question or a test answer. Um, the way this works is uh, you create an item or one of those other things that I mentioned. Um, oops. And use the mashup tool. In the mashup tool, Kaltura Media is one of the options. I click Kaltura Media. It's again going to display the Kaltura My Media section to me with those blue browse button, uh, blue, whoops.
Let's see if we can get that to work again. There we go. That blue embed button. I'm going to click that blue embed button. And you're going to get what you probably think of when someone says embed. You're going to get that playable thumbnail video embed in your course. All right. That does play in the little window here. There are some buttons that let students um, make that video a little bigger. As I mentioned, the link option is slightly more flexible and has slightly more options for students. Um, uh, I'll give you one sort of simple example. If I click that link option, I actually get, once there is a captions, once the file is done captioning, there will be a transcript um, bar at the bottom where students can read the transcript and or search the transcript. So um, that's one difference between embedding as a link and embedding as a thumbnail embed. All right, so I'm going to pop into Ultra now and show you what those two workflows look like in Ultra, and then we'll take some questions. All right, so here I am in my Ultra sandbox. Sorry, it's a little messy in here. Um, the first uh, option is the one that is most like creating that link in Blackboard Original. I'm going to come here to the top and click this little plus icon to add content. I'm going to add something from the content market. That's the sort of the lingo used in the Ultra uh, course style. I'm going to scroll down to Kaltura Media Gallery. And, oh, sorry, I hit the wrong button. I needed Kaltura Embed, not Kaltura Media Gallery. Um, and then here's the Embed button, just as you expect, just as you saw in the original styled course. And here is the same type of link. All right, one more. I'm going to show you how to get that playable thumbnail in Ultra. To get a playable thumbnail, like creating an item or an assignment in Blackboard Original, I need to create something for that to go into. So I'm going to create a page. So a document in this case. I'm going to add content to that document. And when you add content this way to get that playable thumbnail, you use this little uh, icon all the way to the right of the text screen. Anywhere in Blackboard Ultra that you have this uh, type of text editing box, you have access to this and you can insert a Kaltura video. So I can insert, in this case, it's called an LTI item and the rest works the same. Here's my Kaltura embed button, launches the section that points to my media, gives me the blue embed button. Now I can click the blue embed button and I get the playable thumbnail in my course. All right, 